So welcome to the third tutorial in the Bootstrap series. In this video we're going to be looking at creating the hero unit. Now the hero unit is the unit that goes along here which has all of our large text in it and it's kind of used for advertising messages or something like that. So this is actually really simple to do with Bootstrap. Uh, just go to the bottom of your page, yeah, just below your nav, nav bar and before your uh, JavaScript and we'll create a div with a class of hero dash unit and just close it off and then here quite simply you can create headers so you can I'm gonna use h2 for mine uh, and I'll go I'm just gonna copy and paste it from my other page all the text that goes in it you can put your own obviously and create a paragraph tags or do whatever you want so you can really customize this however you want you can put any normal tags inside here and I'm just gonna paste this in. I also have a break a line break here to go on the next line. Save it. And if we refresh over here, you see we have our hero unit. Next thing we want to do is make sure that this kind of centers itself sort of on the page. So we can do that using containers. So just gonna indent all of this. And we'll get create a div class equal to contain. And close off this container as well. Now, if we open it back up and refresh, you see it's now in the center. So everything is looking pretty good here. Next thing we want is this button down here. So you see we have this white button saying view plans. So this is really simple again. We can create the A tag with a class equal to button. Sorry, BTN and a href equal to hash and here we can just go view plans so now if we refresh it we've got our button here we can also add some other classes like btn-large if we wanted to to style this button so that gives us a large button we can also do btn-info for example and that gives us a blue button. I'm actually going to leave out the blue large button because I quite like that. But if you go to the bootstrap page and buttons, on this page you can see all the different types of buttons, all the colors, and the sizes as well. So this is really useful. You can also see about primary buttons and stuff, but we're not going to get into that. Um, so that's it for this tutorial. Uh, if you found it useful, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.